Also developing now, D.C. police have now formally launched a hate crime investigation after a video circulating online shows a man being pushed to the ground and punched repeatedly by several Shake Shack employees over the weekend. And D.C. News Now's Ben Dennis spoke to the victim earlier today, and he joins us live right now. Ben, Shake Shack says that they're already taking some action. Indeed, while the investigation is underway, Shake Shack says they've already suspended at least two employees after this anti-gay hate crime investigation got underway. It happened here at the DuPont Circle location Saturday night. The victim tells me this all started after he kissed his male partner inside, and that pro is ongoing. Uh, still pretty shaken up. Bruises are clearly visible on Christian Dingus face and an unsettling feeling lingers. I mean, it was all very fast. A video circulating online appears to show Dingus being sent to the ground by at least two people. One clearly wearing a Shake Shack uniform. Once he's sent to the sidewalk motionless, punches are still being thrown on him. The audacity to do that in broad daylight surrounded by a huge crowd of people recording just and just the brutality of the attack. I was feeling pretty help, uh, helpless. Like I was like, is no one stepping in? Is nothing's gonna happen to break this up? And you know, I just, I didn't know if it was ever going to. Dinka says he was waiting for food with his partner and at one point they kissed. He says an employee said they can't do that. Dinka says when his partner argued they could, he says an employee took that friend outside and he tried to intervene, though not aggressively. The police report does not detail the circumstances before punches are thrown. It says the employee claimed they acted in self-defense after Dingus put his hands on his neck, something yeah. he disputes. Even at that point, like as I'm laying in the fetal position, did I put my hand on all five of their necks as they're on top of me? And there's incidents of homophobia, but especially here in D.C., you should be able to feel safe here. Now, neither D.C. police nor Shake Shack have shared any video from inside the restaurant. We have asked for it. Shake Shack says that they have suspended those employees involved and they are prepared, quote, to take appropriate actions based on the investigation's findings. We're live in DuPont Circle. Ben Dennis, D.C. News Now.